Hi. Is that sock for me? <laughs> They're playing. They're trying to play. They're learning to play better. But anyways, um, I'm about to edit. I just wanted to catch up with y'all, tell you about my surgery. So today's Saturday. Yesterday was surgery on my nose. I got three things done. Um, they removed polyps, which are like growths in my nose that were blocking my like airway, like how I breathe. Um, then they, I had a deviated septum, so they fixed that. And they also um, did the balloon sinuplasty, which is like the whole reason for all of the procedures. Well, the polyps were definitely a huge reason too, but um, we got that done. I'll probably have to have the surgery again in like five years, he said. I was hoping it was gonna be longer, but once he got in there, he was like, mm. so about five years. Um, but really it was so easy. We went in, I was like from start to finish once we were in the office, we were like leaving an hour later, like it's crazy, maybe an hour and a half. Um, but you will go under general anesthesia, but it was only like 20 minutes. Morgan said he waited there. Um, well, obviously he waited there, but they came back into the room like in 20 minutes saying that they were done. So that was awesome. The surgery, what's wrong? Say I just have so much energy. The surgery went really well. He did say there was more like pus and infection than he was um you know expecting so it took and it didn't take longer but he was like I really had to work to get all of that cleaned out so I'm on lots of antibiotics um and stuff like that sprays mists all of the stuff and um overall I haven't had any pain yet I woke up with a little pressure like I haven't even taken pain medicine at all not once they prescribed me Tylenol with codeine haven't needed it I woke up with a little pressure this morning. Like once I got up and got moving, I just could start feeling it. Um, so I decided to go ahead and just take like my regular Tylenol that we have at home. And that was probably like 30 minutes ago and I feel fine. So I know I have a high pain tolerance, but overall like it's, there is nothing. Like it feels like I didn't even have the surgery yet other than the fact that I can breathe pretty well. Um, but I could breathe last week too because I was on um, a steroid that shrunk the polyps. So that like... Last week was the first week that I could smell everything, food. I could always taste food fine. Um, like I could taste stuff and know that it, you know, like do recipes and stuff and know what it needed. But it, it just wasn't as strong. So now like I can really taste my coffee and I can really taste like everything. So that was kind of exciting. Um, I think I can smell fine right now too. So we'll just see how it goes. Um... Overall, it was a really easy procedure. I was a little bit nervous because a lot of people had told me there's going to be lots of blood and there's going to be lots of this and just that overall their experience wasn't very good, but mine, easy. In and out, no issues. Um, it went, I mean, it went great. I'm like, I would do, I would do it again in five years. It was so easy and I've had, like I said, no pain. So that's exciting. But anyways, we're just chilling. Um, Morgan is asleep. It's pretty early. It's only, it was, I got out of bed before eight o'clock. So I think it's like probably 820. Yeah, it's 820 right now. Um, but I'm going to drink my coffee because it's getting cold. I'm going to start editing. I'm going to upload a video today. It's already up. I just need to add the thumbnail, which I already made. And I'm like on top of my editing game, y'all, yesterday because I came home and felt fine like after surgery I just edited all day and I'm finally catching up to all the videos that I've been meaning to post which is awesome so finally y'all will get to see stuff more in real time versus watching my life from two weeks ago um so anyways I have a it's like a Monday it's not like a vlog but it kind of is um I basically went to H-E-B on my lunch break and talked about some snacks and then me and Morgan made a few good recipes. So if you want a sheet pan jambalaya recipe that is amazing or a like chicken veggie teriyaki meal prep or dinner, so good. Um, both those recipes are in that video and I'll try to remember to put it in the card here for you. And um, it's probably like two videos back. It's just like healthy meals, I think is what I called it. Healthy snack and meal ideas, something like that. So that's all from us this morning. We are just chilling at the house today. We're going to get probably some more decor stuff done, hang some stuff up, and I'll show you that when it happens. Okay, you sound like a good plan.
Okay, y'all, so today for, it's basically lunch. Um, it's already noon and we're just now eating, so it's gonna be a pretty big lunch. But I'm making us breakfast sandwiches using the Dave's Killer Bread. Um, two slices is 200 calories and then 10 grams of protein, so that's great. I'm gonna add some spinach on it. It's kind of like a grilled cheese, but like breakfast style. Um, so I went ahead and weighed out our cheese. We're using baby Swiss because we had it in the fridge. Mozzarella because we had it in the fridge. And then I thought one of these um, laughing cow garlic and herb would be like a fun, kind of make it feel a little fancier. We're gonna do, um, I think right now I'm just gonna do one egg because there's just so many toppings. I think one egg is gonna be plenty for each of us. Um, I have this weighed out separately here so we know how much we're eating. And then two links of the chicken sausage, which I'm gonna cook up with the egg um, and the spinach on the skillet first, sort of scramble style, and then we'll add it to the sandwich. Also gonna use this Kerrygold butter. So total, we're looking at about 700 calories, which should be fine. I'm eating about 1750 a day. Um, this is my first meal. I skipped breakfast, so this is gonna be lunch, and it leaves me a lot to work with snacks-wise. So go team, seven to 750. I think I'm at 660, so plus 100 for this. Really about 760. And by the way, that 760 includes four ounces of these potatoes. So delish. It's like a three cheese breakfast <laughs> grilled cheese sandwich. I'm so excited. And we just did three ounces of potatoes instead of four. So that is breakfast or lunch. Well, both really. Okay, I'll ignore all the pillows on the floor, but I wanted to share the air purifier that we got for our bedroom. This company, OK Sue, actually sent it to me and it's perfect. I have a larger one, um, but this is way better for the bedroom. Hello, Chance. Welcome, welcome to the review. He says it's a great air purifier. You should buy it. Um, but I wanted to share with you because they're having a giveaway too. So like four winners, not just one winner, four winners. And I wanted to kind of tell you about it a little bit. So as you can see, it's very small, like in comparison to my nightstand. It's really small and compact, which I love. It's also super quiet. We can't even hear it over like our um, ceiling fan. Also love. So whenever you turn it on, mine's already on. It's just on night mode. But... Turn it on, it's got a nice blue light. And then right here, you can change if you want two hours, four hours, or eight. So I always put it on eight, and then we do the night mode. So you do that, and it turns off all of the lights. So no noise, no extra light in your room, so you can still sleep perfectly. It's awesome. We really wanted this for Morgan's allergies because he's allergic to cats. We have a cat. Obviously, we needed this. Um, so it just kind of worked out that a company reached out to me offering one because we already were in the market. And I'm so in love with this. You can adjust the light setting if you want sort of a dim blue light in your bedroom. That's super calming. You can do that. You can turn it off. You can leave it on night mode. Tons of cool stuff. Also, the filter is right down here. You just flip this over. So the air uh, filter is right down here. As you can see, there's just like a screw off bottom. So you just turn it over, take the filter out. You can clean it. So simple. I love it. And y'all, you can't even tell that it's on. Like, can you hear it at all? I don't think you can hear it. So awesome. I'm really excited. They have them on Amazon. Um, it's about $88. And like I said, they're having a giveaway on their Instagram. So go click the link. I'll just put it in the description box for you go into their giveaway. It's a Father's Day giveaway. They're giving away four of these. I'm so excited. There's so many cool features and I just really love that it's silent. So we use it um, mainly at night. You can turn it on obviously during the day, but usually we sleep with it at night and I really feel like it's helped a lot because Morgan has hardly had allergies. We've had this for about a week. Um, so majority of the time that we've moved or that we've lived here and he has hardly had allergies, especially in the bedroom, even though the cat has like been on the bed and stuff, it's been great. 
So I'm all on the air purifier situation. Love pure air. Seriously obsessed with it. But yeah, I just wanted to tell you all about it. So go look at their um, website. And then also don't forget to enter their giveaway because that's four that they're giving away for free. Hi, Chancy. <laughs> Do you approve this message? Do you approve this message? Yes. <laughs> So anyways, the, um, the air purifier too, just with like our allergies, I just had my sinus surgery. So overall, I'm just trying to keep allergies at bay and I feel like it's doing a great job so far. Morgan has like normal San Antonio allergies too. So we're just really happy to have it. Um, sorry, Chance is like trying to play right now. Um, but anyways, also, um, I forgot to mention it has like a five year warranty. So if you buy it, you're covered for five years. You never have to worry about it. The filter, you can clean yourself and it catches like pet hair and like large particles in the air, um, which I think is awesome because if y'all have pets like me, we've got pet hair like you wouldn't believe. Like Australian Shepherd and a cat, it gets crazy, but that thing like catches the pet hair and just cleans all of your air and just circulates clean air all the time. It's seriously the best. But anyways, like I said, they have a giveaway going on so i'll link that for you down below they're giving away four so you have like a really good chance of winning so go to their instagram in that go to that um i'll link it for you and then you'll be able to <laughs> you'll be able to sign up uh and enter the giveaway that way i'll be entering as well because i love it and i'd love to have one in like every room in my house but um yeah so anyways i think we're about to um try to hang up some shelves. So let's see how that goes. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm gonna show you this drink I've been drinking. It's so good. So I'm choosing a regular unflavored sparkling water. I already poured one in there, but I'm gonna do like half of this one to fill it up. And then I'm using this True Lime Limeade packet. Comes in a box like this. They have like lemonade ones. They have, I have the lemonade, but they have a peach one, um, different teas, all types of stuff like that. So I'm gonna add that. And then I do just a squirt of this black cherry Mio. And it's like a cherry limeade and it's amazing. So good. Okay y'all, so we are about to go to Home Depot. It's like four o'clock. Um, we have these stupid freaking um, shelves that are like floating shelves. And you, it just has this like simple little keyhole bracket, which should be an easy thing, but no matter like the hardware that it comes with or any of the hardware from the toolbox, it won't, it just like sags. Like no matter what we do on the side that even when it's in a stud, like it won't, I don't know what it is. It just won't sit like tight enough. And so it, it just looks bad. So anyways, we're gonna go and try to find some sort of like bracket to hold it up. Even if you can see the bracket, we don't even care. We'll probably just get something black um, and it'll have like an industrial look, but we really wanna get these two shelves up today for this wall right back here. Um, that chair is actually gonna be my vanity chair, so that will move um, and we'll put, I don't know, I'm kind of leaning towards the bean bag idea. So we saw a cool one, like a big chair bean bag on Amazon that's only like $200. So. We'll get something, probably some oversized chair at some point to go there, but I really want to get those um, shelves up. So anyways, and I have a Visa gift card, so we're going to use this because somebody got me this as a home housewarming gift, which is so sweet, somebody I work with. So we're going to use that. I got my water. We have done a lot today, actually. I'll show you all more when we get back, but let me show you this right now. So, okay, so this is the front door. Sorry, I just don't want to turn the camera around because I'm only one-handed. But we just moved this table in here and I added those two little baskets. And then above it, I'm going to put like a really big, I think, a big circle mirror with like a black rim or trim or whatever. And I feel like that is going to look really cool. And then I want to get some pompous grass for that glass jar right there pompous grass for the glass jar. Um, and yeah, I think it's gonna look really cute. So we got that done. I don't know that y'all have even seen like our table setup or anything. So I'll do a little overview later because we also, 
put the rug down in our bedroom and hung up a few things in our bed so it looks really good overall. But we're gonna go to Home Depot. We'll chat in a bit. So we struck out at the Home Depot a little bit. The brackets that they had, we thought that we were like looking online and saw what we liked. We were like, oh, they're gonna have like tons of options when we get there. They like didn't at all have, I feel like they only had like 15 options and 90% of them were like eight inches and our shelves are only five inches wide. So we, I ended up just checking Amazon because the ones that they had that would work were how much a piece? $11, I think. Yeah. $11 a piece. We need four of them. Like, that's more expensive than the actual shelves cost. So, we decided to look on Amazon, and they had a pack that will be perfect for what we need. And it was a four pack for, like, $21. So, I bought that, and it will be here tomorrow. So, it was free one-day shipping. That's awesome. And we ended up, since we had that gift card, we ended up picking up a hose nozzle because ours is um, broken the one that was like at the house so very adult we picked up that for like $13 <laughs> and now we can water the lawn because it's dying in the back so anyways now we're gonna run over to HEB really quick and just get some like fresh produce um, Morgan wants to make that zucchini squash and red pepper tonight to go with dinner so we'll probably stock up a little bit on that because it's so good and you can like add literally any sauce I did it with the teriyaki sauce in that meal prep um I don't know if he'll eat it with teriyaki sauce tonight but it was fine plain huh just yeah, with was, the seasoning yeah it was very good we That's just used like the really. yeah we used um the I always talk about this seasoning it's chef Paul's magic I think seasoning and they use that's the blackened seasoning we use um, they have a poultry one, a meat magic, a steak magic. We literally have every single one, except for the vegetable ones. We haven't been able to find it. But I used the poultry magic on it with just some pepper. And holy moly, it's so good. Just on vegetables, you don't need to add anything else. So we're headed to H&E to get some vegetables. And then we're going to go home. And that's it, I guess, for today. I think we've done, like, as many. Well, I want to work on the bathroom because um, I said I was going to do that today and haven't. So I'm going to work on that. But I feel like we've hung up so much and I'll show y'all the progress that we made on the bedroom, which I'm excited about. Look at the handsome haircut. Oh my goodness. I'm so handsome. Say, look at me. I'm handsome. <laughs> Hi, babe. You're so cute. You guys, these two, I don't even know. Hutch, like, runs up to Chance and, like, attacks him. And we don't really know if he's playing or if he's serious. I'm going to trim his nails tonight because it, like, hurts Chance. Like, Chance starts to cry. Um, but he kind of seems like he's playing and he kind of seems pissed off. So, I don't really know what's going on with that. We've got this cute boy. So sweet. Look at this sweet boy. <laughs> okay, so we're home now. We had um, dinner, obviously. And I'll show you guys a few things that we did today. Let me find how to turn on the light in this room. Um, and then in here is where we have the my living room stuff. So this is a, we actually just got a fridge delivered. But anyways, um, that's going to go, you know, in the garage. It's part of my table. But my living room set is in here. I need to get some pillow. Well, I probably have pillows. I need to put pillows on this couch. Eventually, I'll add a rug, um, and this will be like, we'll put our Christmas tree right there, we'll put a few things on the wall, or maybe just like one art piece or something. This is just kind of our little sitting room. We have better service in here, so we like talk on the phone in here. Um, and then we hung up this picture right as we walk into the kitchen. So this is, um, what do you call this place? Monjunis. Monjunis. This, is it in uh, Shreveport? Italian restaurant in Shreveport, yeah. Italian restaurant in Shreveport. Best red sauce you'll ever have. Best red sauce, that's what he said. The best red sauce you'll ever have. So we hung up that, which I love. I just think it's so pretty. And then it's, honestly, I didn't even clean it from dinner, so I ignore that. But my whole nasal cabinet of stuff is right there. 
Um, I do need to do the dishes from dinner, but this is kind of how we have the kitchen laid out. So we have like the coffee over here, cutting boards. You get the idea. We've been keeping this pretty much cleared off um, and we just light the candle right there. But yeah, over here, we hung up this. I think I showed that in the last vlog, wine tasting daily. We've got our, oh, excuse me, Chance. We've got our big table right here, which I love. And then the couch is in here. We have Chance's kennel back here with some more pictures that we're gonna hang up. That's the air purifier. And then we're gonna put these two, as soon as we get the brackets in tomorrow, we're gonna hang them right there. So there's that. This looks pretty much the same over here. Oh, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> 